So once a virus enters the body, it attaches to a specific receptor on the surface of a host cell. You can think of a virus almost like a microscopic syringe just injecting part of itself inside the cell. Now here's the crazy part. Once inside the cell, the viral genetic material takes control of the host cellular machinery. It hijacks the cell's resources, including enzymes and ribosomes, to replicate its own genetic material and reproduce viral proteins. These components are then assembled into a new virus particle, which eventually bursts out of the host cell, destroying it in the process. So basically, it injects itself into a cell. It causes the host cell's nucleus and machinery to actually reproduce the virus inside, and when it can't contain any more of it, the cell explodes, releasing the viral material to all the adjacent cells for the process to repeat again and again. So on its own, viruses can't really reproduce or do any of this, and so that's why we're not sure, is it alive or is it dead, but it absolutely can replicate. Now, this cycle repeats itself, with each infected cell producing thousands of new virus particles that can go on to infect other cells in the body. The rapid replication and spread of viruses within the body contributes to the symptoms of viral infection, and that's what we feel when we start to get a fever, and we start to have chills, and we don't feel well after having a virus. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.